Hey everyone, it's Evan here again from the event management team. Hopefully you got a chance to see that quick overview video already of Buckeye Scheduler. Um, this video that we've got going right now is going to show you how to log in to Buckeye Scheduler and then also give you a quick overview um, or tour of the site real quick. So um, to get to Buckeye Scheduler, you're going to open up your internet browser. Um, I like to use Google Chrome here, um, but it'll work on anything that you've got. So if you're on Firefox or Internet Explorer um, or on a smartphone, you can use whatever you'd like to get to Buckeye Scheduler. So um, the first thing that you're going to do is go up to your uh, address bar here and type in www.buckeyescheduler.com. And this will take you right here to the home page of Buckeye Scheduler. So um, the first thing that you're going to do to log in to Buckeye Scheduler is you're going to type in your username. Um, everybody, all Red Coats and Ushers, your username is going to be the email address that we use for you. So the email address that you get your news and notes email sent to, that's going to be the login that you use for Buckeye Scheduler. So that personal email address that you use. Um, here for our, our uh, test account for the video, um, Brutus Buckeye is going to be logging in and showing us um, how he uses Buckeye Scheduler. So um, Brutus is going to type in his email address here, buckeye.51 at osu.edu. Um, that's where he gets his news and notes emails that he uh, reads as soon as he hits his inbox each time. Um, then he's going to type in his password here. Um, all um, Redcoats and Ushers are going to have a default password. Um, it's going to be Go Bucks, so capital G O, capital B U C K S. That's everybody's default password here that you're going to type in the very, very first time to update your or to log in the Buckeye Scheduler. Um, before clicking that big red login button, though, we're going to have to do something um, to to verify that you are the right person, you are a real person logging in here to the site. So. Um, this is a little thing, it's called a CAPTCHA, and what it does is it prevents hackers from getting into the website and stealing information. So you're going to click this little button here that says, I am not a robot, and then there's going to be a little question that's going to pop up, and the question changes every time that you might log in. This one in particular says, click all the squares with a stop sign. So pretty easy question, I just click one square there with a stop sign. Um, you might get other questions. Uh, there's ones that pop up and say, pick all the pictures that have sushi in it, or pick the pictures that have uh, waterfalls in it, or you might get a different question each time just to verify that you are a real person. So this one has asked me to uh, select the squares that had a stop sign, so I clicked just the one, and I'm going to hit that next button here. Oh, and it's asking a second question. Um, click all the squares with a street sign, so I'm going to Looks like these two have a street sign in it, so I'll click. And now I'm going to click the login button, and here I am on the home page of Buckeye Scheduler. So um, really excited to show you kind of a quick little overview of the site here. Um, as soon as you log in to Buckeye Scheduler, you'll see your schedule right here on the home page. So the events that you're going to be working as a red coder and usher will be there. Um, up here at the top is where our navigation is. Um, to get around the site. So if you wanted to pull up an event calendar, you'll be able to click that calendar button, see the calendar. Um, here's our resources pages where you'll be able to download manuals or training documents and whatnot. Um, there's also the profile page where you'll be able to see um, contact information, update your contact information, your history of events that you've worked and all that. Also up here at the top you can hit this contact button and uh, we'll talk a little bit about that, how you can reach out to um, the event management team um, just through Buckeye Scheduler directly. And then of course a logout button to log yourself out of Buckeye Scheduler. So um, that was just a quick little overview of Buckeye Scheduler. Um, our next video will show you how to actually schedule your events, um, actually go through the calendar, see what's um, on the calendar to be able to work. and. Um, request those events and get assigned to work by your supervisor. So um, thanks guys for watching this one. We'll see you in the next video.